Welcome back to Shul Lights. So you got yourself a Hank light, you got a dual channel, you got the Osram W1 and the LHD 351D. Uh, so you got a throw and a flood combination and you wanted to set it up so it's just mwah, chef's kiss perfect. I'll show you how to do it right now. And uh, I already got this one configured, so let me show you what we got here. First off, if I turn it on, you got, this is the LH351D, and it's nice and floody, you can see that. And if I click, click, hold, we go to the throw, right? And that is the W1 Osram. Okay, now, let me, that's one part of it, it's that instant switching, so we'll talk about that in a second. But I also wanna show you, and this is key, that when I double tap, both emitters don't come on. That's the default behavior and it makes sense if you have yourself a uh, light that has uh, two of the same types of emitters but different colors you'd want them all to come on for maximum brightness but in my case you know if i'm on flood and i go to turbo and let me do that i just want maximum flood like i got now what i don't want is the w1 hotspot coming on as well and and part of the reason for that is because you know if i'm using a floody situation uh, I don't want throw at that moment. And if I do have throw, I don't necessarily want the flood heating up the light excessively. So how do we do that? Okay, well, first off, I got my light configured. So let me deconfigure it. Let me get it back to stock. And the way I'm gonna do that is untail cap, screw it a little bit here so that it is disconnected mechanically. Hold down that button there and then screw it in. Notice that it starts strobing and then it flashes. I am now reset. Now, being reset, I am also in simple mode. So let's go 10 hold and wait for the flash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And there's the flash. I'm now in advanced mode. Now we've got to set up a couple things. First thing we got to set up is the tint ramping is this right now. Well, oh, hang on. Let me try it again. Click, click, hold. Notice that it's going between flood and uh, throw gradually and that's not what we want. So what we're gonna do is, so when it's off, okay, you're gonna go nine, hold, let it flash once, and then give it one click after the buzz. Okay, watch. Okay, so when it's off, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold, it gets a flash and a buzz, and then you click once. If you've done it correctly, okay, now when I turn it on, click, click, hold, and it's instant. Okay, all right, so that's that one. Now we also have to set up the ceiling and the turbo modes, okay? So let's do turbo modes first. So that is, uh, while it's on, 10H, hold that H until four flashes, and then you're gonna give it an input of two. I know that's complicated, but uh, 10H is a advanced menu with a bunch of different selections. So we're gonna go 10H, hold it until we see four separate flashes. And on the fourth flash, we are going to release. When we see the buzz, we're gonna give it input of two. Okay, so watch this. So turn it on, okay? And let's go 10H, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold. That's a flash. Second flash, third flash, Fourth flash, let go, buzz, one, two, let go, and wait till it clears. There you go. So now you're in the old style turbo. Now that's not enough though, because if I go to turbo, watch what happens. See, I got the hotspot and the flood is on. And you can see that all four emitters are on right now. So that's not what we want. Okay, so we, we did half of what we need, but the other half is we gotta tell this light that when I double tap to turbo, to go to ceiling, which is which is basically what you did in the 10H. You said go to ceiling, but the ceiling is set as 150 out of 150 in the Endurial ramp, and we need it set to something else. Now, Endurial 2 with a dual uh, driver like this, a dual channel driver, what it, what it is is 130 out of 150 is a maximum brightness on one channel. And then the next 20, so 131 out of 150, or 132, all the way up to 150 out of 150, the next 20 uh, steps on that ramp are 5% increments on the other channel. So if you go 150 out of 150, you're gonna get both channels maximum brightness. If you go, let's say 140 out of 150, you would get the main channel maximum brightness and the other channel half brightness. I, ho I hope that makes sense, I'm going over it fast. But what you really gotta do effectively here 
is you got to set the ceiling to 120 out of 150. So I'm sorry, 130, 130 out of 150. And the way to do that is to enter uh, uh, the ceiling menu, which is 7H, wait for the second flash that sets the ceiling. The first flash is the uh, the uh, basement, the, the bottom of the ramp. So you got to go to the ceiling. And then when you're at the ceiling mode, you got to put in 21 clicks, okay? It's not 20, okay? It's 21. And that's because one click would be um, uh, 150, I believe. I think that's the way it works. So 21 is 130. Okay, here we go. So, um, all right, here we go. So we got to turn on first, okay? And I go, I'm going to remember, seven clicks and hold, two flashes on the second one, 21 clicks. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hold. That's one flash, two flashes, a buzz, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that was not enough. That wasn't enough. Let me try it again. That was 16, not 21. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hold. Second flash. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 21 flashes, uh, clicks. And now it's exited. And let's see if we got it. So double tap. Yep, that's only the center. Okay, and click, click, hold. And we are flood. And let me double tap. Yep, still flood only. All right. Well, that's a lot to do, but there you go. That's the way I think you should set up a flood and throw dual channel Hank light. Hope that's helpful to you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.